Hey, welcome to 100 Mile Drive. In this quick video, I wanna do a quick comparison between the 2023 BMW X3 M40i and 2024 Genesis GV70 3.5T V6 Twin Turbo. So I'm gonna do a quick visual, like show you these cars around, walk around them, then show you the interior, and then take them for a quick spin around the block and discuss how they are really different. Let's get into it. And first, let's look at the BMW X3 M40i. This is a 2023 model. This is my car. This still looks pretty classy. M Sport comes standard in this car. This has upgraded 20 inch wheels with the red calipers. I think this is literally all you need. Now I removed run flat tires because definitely the run flat tires that this car had don't fit well. They really create a jittery ride. So I put regular Michelin all season tires and the car feels much better now coming on the rear. Definitely look this refresh for 2022 with this hello looking tail lights. Looks fantastic in my opinion. Now let's look at the trunk real quick. And you know, they say pardon our dust, pardon my junk here. <laughs> Have to move all the stuff from another car. So it looks a little, you know, busy here, but you get the point, right? This is the trunk area. You can fit quite a few stuff, but this is not the largest trunk in this segment. All right, let's look at the Genesis. And now looking at Genesis here. Well, this car definitely is like a piece of art. Looks fantastic. The designers of Genesis really have done a tremendous job crafting pretty much every element in this vehicle. And these 20 inch upgraded wheels, definitely worth it he said 255 40r21 front and rear now bmw gets a non-staggered like a much wider 275s in the rear this is has like a sloping roof lines and coming on the rear i think rear also is very well crafted there's exhaust pipes and it looks pretty cool as well again a lot of people will fall in love with the design here's the push button for the trunk. Now a little downer in this car, I already mentioned in my review, is the trunk size is a little small for this car. Even I was surprised. Yes, you get your spare, that's part of the reason. But even then for crossover, you know, you expect a little more from the trunk size. So BMW definitely wins in this compartment. Even if you get the space saver that, space saver that uh, BMW has as an option. Now let's do a quick door sound check. It feels a heavy door, not the best sounding door, but still feels pretty heavy. The rear, the front sounds better to be honest with you. All right, let's check in Genesis. Door sound check in Genesis. Honestly, this sounds better actually. I don't like the squeaky handle. It feels a little squeaky when you grab it, but when you actually open it and close it yeah the sound feels better let's look at the rear yeah still i like bmws more but this sounds better all right let's get on the inside all right i'm getting on the inside now this has a carbon fiber trim otherwise this is what the door looks like this is like our camel looking uh this is a standard sensatec seats they're non-leather seats and this is what the interior looks like. Now, these are soft touch materials. Let me actually close the door. Soft touch here, soft touch. These are not like a high-end materials, like let's say cars like X5 will be a little bit better. This is the hard plastic. This is the area I complain about the most, actually, in some of my reviews. This also has a Harman Kardon audio system, which is really nice in this BMW. Let me go ahead and start it. All right, this is soft touch. You get your head up display, part of the premium package. Almost all BMWs on dealer lot have, have it. Soft touch, carbon fiber trim. Overall, everything is very, very nicely molded. I already have 16,000 miles on it. No squeaks or rattles. This piano is not, you know, the most ideal. You get some fingerprints here. So you have to, you know, wipe it with uh, microfiber cloth. But otherwise, it's not bad. Seat's a little firm. Of course, they don't look super stylish. You can get a you know leather seat as well. Um, but again, you have to mostly configure that car 
to get that and this is what the rear seats look like you know they don't look fantastic and they do feel on the firmer side they do recline but overall they do the job i wish though the seats were a little bit nicer in the bmw all right now let's hop in into the genesis and this is what genesis looks like look at this door look at this beauty i mean definitely there are a lot more design elements some stitching here now this car i feel should be compared more to x3 m50 that is literally coming it's already out i already saw a few in the dealership but you got this aluminum kind of trims there's a cool design elements uh, even this is a soft touch i like that so and this also has by the way this lexicon premium audio also 16 speakers but to be honest the bmw one sounds better like it's there's more surround sound to it it sounds deeper this is what it looks like so as far as materials this is soft touch soft touch you know even this is soft touch so the doors even this lower is a soft touch the doors definitely feel a more like a higher quality but then when we come inside this is a hard touch i don't know if it's plastic or what hard touch and then this is soft touch so this kind of flows into this element and this is soft touch soft touch then hard touch here and then you have this creaks already you hear it right this car only has 2,000 miles so this things might crick but of course let's start this the design of this car is just on another level if this is what you like right BMW has a very um, uh, conservative design well not the x3 m50 that has a completely reworked design and i'm going to review that car as well now this car also has a upgraded napa leather seats this quilted leather seats they're not super soft seats but they definitely feel much 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 more comfortable than the ones i have in the bmw so overall this is what it looks like it also has a panoramic roof just like my car your rear seats definitely really comfortable and i can fit in them i'm 6'2 and i fit just fine so this is what the cabin looks like of course it does look more luxurious is it high-end quality no no definitely there are some cheap elements in this interior um and then you know when you press it when you see it uh, it's not as high-end, but it definitely looks much nicer, right? And first, I'm going to drive BMW X3 M40i. This is literally just a quick drive around the block just to show you, you know, talk about the differences between both cars, right? If you're looking at GV70 versus the X3 M40i or M50 as well, uh, this will give you some idea. So I'm just literally driving around my block. I am in a comfort mode. This car compared to GV70 is mild hybrid. So when I'm coasting, I let go the pedal. It turns off the engine and it can preserve the fuel. Also, a lot of operations like start, stop are more seamless in this car, including like when I put it in park, I can walk away and this car automatically shuts off. I don't need to push the start, stop button to turn it off. So it's really cool. It literally works like Tesla in some ways but for the gasoline now in terms of of course the appearance this is more conservative like i said you know and this is really sport oriented like when you sit in this car everything inspires sport in this car it has some comfort like if you could get you know leather uh, upholstery you get a little bit softer seats um, that's my biggest complaint actually in this car is the seats but otherwise you know this is an amazing car i'm gonna quickly do the acceleration it is a shorter travel suspension I'm talking about the comfort so everything it does firmer definitely firmer than the gv70 uh, but it's very engaging it's very connected to the road like when you drive this car you even appreciate driving it you know in the city when you're not even accelerating because it does everything nicely like how it's you know connected to the road now let me throw it in my uh you know let's put it in sport plus right and then then just do a quick acceleration this car definitely inspires confidence it's your downshift now this transmission is your basic torque converter transmission right it's not even a dual clutch transmission but yet when it shifts, you know, you feel those shifts. 
and you have that booming sound boom boom like when it shifts definitely feels nice all right so i like to drive it in sport individual mode where i'm not overworking my transmission i'm not overworking my engine they are in just sport not sport plus and my trans uh, suspension is in comfort mode and this is just ideal scenario where i can hear those little pops from the you know engine this car is still not as loud as it used to be pre-2020 uh, it used to be even louder so they had to dumb it down and there is a setting where i can dumb it down more but i definitely don't want to do that so it's a very engaging car so if you're comparing the two and you are looking at the bmw well you buying sport guess what today you can still get this brand new for 2024 model year many dealerships still have them and they hold value pretty well to be honest with you um, so if you want the sport if you want to have engaging ride you know this has a b58 engine then bmw is the way to go now let me jump into genesis gv70 and basically discuss why would you get that car instead and now i'm driving genesis gv70 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 and let's first discuss this car styling right one of the biggest reasons people buy this car is for styling um, now for that I did discuss in my full video which you can watch that for that reason you don't need to get a v6 version right uh, v6 version yes it is definitely has some perks like a more powerful engine and it has electronically controlled uh, suspension suspension that basically tightens up in this uh, sport mode which is you know more engaging if you corner but still this car is not tuned for that same level of performance like the x3 m40i when you go to test drive genesis you will kind of fall in love with a smooth ride you know uh, of the two liter and even this one this car is very smooth uh, it is heavier than the base two liter uh, but it doesn't feel as heavy even though it's heavier than the x3 m40i the way it's tuned it feels you know with the lighter steering with a more comfy suspension it feels like you know it's a easy car to toss around right and that's what it's designed for It's designed for luxury comfort uh, just with some more power right so usually premium cars tend to have more power just to you know not have that struggle right in the acceleration so now i'm gonna put it in the sport plus and do just a quick acceleration yeah it, it's of course not as engaging not as loud as the x3 m40i it has its own kind of you know noise but it's not as raspy not as you know there's no this booming there are no pops there's nothing enthusiastic about how this engine sounds you just can tell it's a it's a six cylinder so it's a little bit more potent but it's not as engaging right so let's do one more acceleration yeah the transmission shifts pretty nicely but i did discuss in my dynamic drive review that in a sport plus mode it has a tendency to sometimes hang in the lower gears and it feels overwhelmed uh, it's kind of behaving okay right now so the idea is to drive it in just sport mode and you know this way you don't overwhelm it it sounds a little bit better a more responsive transmission so this way it's good so overall this is a car like i said for comfort with some added performance and you know tuned uh, suspension from genesis which they've done a pretty good job again watch my full review where i kind of go a little bit more in details on uh, what they've done to this car but if you're choosing between this or that i think the main choice comes into styling and comfort versus sport right and driving dynamics of the bmw so in driving dynamics bmw definitely is a winner but it's a sportier car right some people just cannot stand firmer cars then this is the one to choose but if you are an enthusiast you love driving dynamics you know you love steering your car you know even steering in this car is looser kind of it does tighten up in sport but it's not as direct it's not as crisp 
brakes are not as strong, not as engaging as in the BMW. So everything BMW does is just kind of sharper. Um, so there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what are your comments. And I'll catch you in my next video.